Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up, what's up, Winning Cures Everything? I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. Of course, you can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you go and do that thing. We are doing some quick hitters starting this week. Of course, we've given you our top 10. You can go watch that video on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. If you're on Facebook, make sure and hit that page like. Make sure you share it out. Tell your boys about it. We would appreciate the support. This is the college football playoff predictions. This is after week eight. Heading into week nine, these are the teams that we think are going to be in the playoff at the end of the season. Uh, I always start mine out with who will be left out at number six and number five. Chris doesn't worry about that because if they end in the playoff, they don't matter. So uh, my number six is Penn State. I think they're only going to have one loss on the season. Um, And then my number five is Alabama. I think they will have one loss on the season. And... Now let's jump into the top four. Who you got at number four? Number four, I got Clemson. Clemson. All right. I've I got... think they're going to go undefeated. I don't think anybody's going to challenge them. I think they're going to roll through their schedule. And I think the reason they're going to be four is because I think everybody in my top four are going to be undefeated. And it's, I think the same thing. And they, and they will have the worst resume. I have Oklahoma at number four. Uh, Clemson will have a worse resume. I think that the committee will have a tough time uh, not ranking them a little higher because of their their eye test and whatever else, whatever safety net they want to put in there. You can't say eye test because Oklahoma's beaten people far better than Clemson has, and they're going to continue to. Yeah, and they're I beating mean, better teams. I mean, now we'll we can't see. predict the future. We're trying to predict the future here, but I, I just I, I I just can't see that if they make them three, or they make them two, or one, it will be strictly because they because won, they won last, last year. year. That's it. That's, and if that's, 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 if, if that's it, then say that's it. That's all I want the community to do. We think we should give them preferential treatment because they won last year. I'm okay with that. I just want you to say it. I have biases all the time. I'm honest about them. I have Clemson at three. I have Oklahoma at so, three. All right, so we just flip-flop those two. I, uh, man, and so I wrote all this stuff out. I put LSU at two. They're not going to be two if they go undefeated. I was I was just looking. An undefeated that. SEC team has never been two. I I do think because I mean they'll have to beat probably Georgia or Florida or Florida again. They beat Florida a second time or Georgia a first time. They'll have to beat Alabama, Alabama. at Tuscaloosa. They got to beat Auburn. Got to beat Auburn. They'll gotta have beat to. A&M. You got to beat A and M. That's right. They'll have to. I mean they've run a gauntlet. They've yeah. beaten Texas at Texas. And Ohio State, like it's not like they are like they would have to beat Wisconsin. In Ohio State Wisconsin won't have the again. non-conference win if you want to give them that extra no. piece. And since Wisconsin kind of fell apart, the the team that they're going to play after they beat them, I mean, you know, could have two losses. Or I mean, they got Penn State and they got Michigan left, and Michigan may end up with four losses by yeah. then. Yeah, Minnesota might make it in the in the in the East. Maybe, um, but Penn State's West, got to play them. Sorry. Like but, it, yeah, I was about to say, like we don't know what their what their championship game is going to look like. Yeah, now, you're, you're if Florida right. gets in with one loss, and LSU beats a one loss Florida team, and that they're the only Florida's only two losses are to LSU, Bama's only loss is to LSU. If that's the, the scenario, then that's really hard to say they're not the best team in the country. This is this is not the bias. This is no, not the right. homer. This is just. But what will they probably do? They'll probably they'll probably put Ohio State one because they're the biggest school in the country. They have the biggest fan base. I'll tell you this. I'm not. Hey, a, by I'm the way, I'm gonna. Matchups. I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna say this point blank. We were at the Ohio State Northwestern game. Northwestern fans have to be some of the nicest, sweetest people on the planet. The Ohio State fans, when you're killing a team and you're turning around to a bunch of strangers that have never done anything wrong to you and you're screaming in their face, you're just assholes. Like, it's one thing to be a bully and to, like, like you know, you're the big, you're the best team in the country, and you got to pick on some kid? Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of assholes. Yeah, it was pretty It was pretty ridiculous. If you see other fans of your fan base doing stuff like that, I feel it is your responsibility to, to make stop, them stop them. Because if, 
I, the opposing fan, stops them, then I'm just some jerk who's a sore loser. Yeah. I uh, I like the matchups. Uh, I would love to see LSU play Clemson. I would love to see Ohio State play Oklahoma. Uh, but I also would like to see LSU, Ohio Oklahoma. State play Clemson and LSU-Oklahoma. Yeah. LSU-Oklahoma would be a rematch of a national championship. I was there. It was beautiful. <laughs> Chad Lavalet <laughs> ate Jason White. Um, and uh, it, I... I if I got to pick something, it's not because I'm afraid of Clemson. I'd, I'd, I'd play Clemson. Shit, I'd play Clemson over Oklahoma right now. Yeah. I would rather play Clemson than Oklahoma right now. Whew. Man, I don't know. You don't think so? I don't know. You don't think so? I, I think I think Clemson is is still really, really good. You just think they're just half-assing it? I, they're I just kinda, sandbagging? I kind of think that. I think I think they look bored. That's great. And, and they haven't looked bored since the North Carolina game. I'll, I'll take battle test it. That's a. Hey, I'm I'm in with you. I'm in. All right. That is going to wrap it up. College football playoff predictions after week number eight. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments. Tell us what your predictions are. Uh, go on Facebook. Make sure you hit that page like. Hit subscribe on YouTube. Share the show out with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast as well. Leave some nice reviews. We will see you guys again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.